that was the worst lowest trip ever. And this lady needs to learn how to park her effing truck. This lady literally hanging out about five foot from her parking spot. A big full size Ford like F-150. Daughter or whatever is sitting in it. Playing on her phone. She's been here since before I got here because she was here when I pulled in. Hanging about five foot out in the parking lot. Just like how do you not notice that? But uh yeah, anyway, so uh Lowe's is obscenely busy. Like I got uh I got dirt and some topsoil. Um we got some holes like not holes but like some really deep spots in our yard I want to fill in. Um, so I got dirt to fill it in and then some topsoil to put on top and you know It's got like more nutrients and stuff for the grass seed and uh, I got a bag of grass seed and Then my last five pieces of wood for the deck so if you were, I want to do the grass seed first because it is it does look like it might rain. So uh, obviously the water will help that um, But yeah, I'm on my way home I'm not gonna ramble too much Oops. But I move the deck wood. Because this is that old one that's curved. Or I gotta cut it, one of the two. It is warm outside, holy crap. Wash my hands.
This relaxing all day is catching up to me quick. Although I suppose my piss poor diet doesn't help either. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got, I messed up. Um, I grabbed, Jesus, there's so much traffic outside right now. All right, let's try that again. That little tripod thing I got that I showed you guys in that one video, that thing sucks, I hate that now. I changed my mind on it. Um, but, so I messed up when I went to Lowe's. Um, I needed, there's dirt, and then there's topsoil, there's like peat moss, there's all kinds of different things. I just needed dirt, because in our front yard, like our front yard's really uneven, and I want to level it out eventually, but that's, I'm in like on the farthest, you know, farthest back burner project. But there's one spot, it's about this big. It's big enough for your foot. And it just like, the yard goes like this, just down into it. Like somebody had dug a hole for something and then never filled it back in. But there's nothing there. There's not like, there's no spouts. There's no like adjustments for anything. There's not like a line right underneath it, you know, for like gas or something like that. And you like, the height that I mow usually like the grass will grow out of it pretty tall and then you know when I mow I just you know hold the mower steady over it and you can't really tell it's there but I can and it bugs the hell out of me because sometimes I mow it and like it looks so not there that I actually you know I'll step into it or something like that twist my ankle so um and like when on uh when fall comes around all the leaves like it just fills in with leaves so every spring it looks nasty it's got all those like you know wet like decomposing leaves and stuff like that so i always got to clean it out like you know pretty much by hand because those leaves are just soaking wet um so i wanted to get dirt just straight dirt to fill that or you know whatever you call it just dirt compost or whatever because there's like like i said there's like 20 different kinds of dirt um, I wanted to get dirt and fill it and then, you know, get some grass seed so I can, you know, put some seed on top, you know, and mix it in with the dirt so, you know, grass grows out of it and it's just, it'll become just an even part of the yard. Um, I went to get dirt and, well, actually, no, I went, I found topsoil that says foreground use, you know, incorporates something or other with it to promote healthy growth and it's got like nutrients and stuff in it so I'm like, alright, this stuff's like 60 cents more a bag but... You know, it wouldn't help to have all that extra stuff in there to help, you know, get the grass growing and get it strong. Because, like, we have, like, a lot of, like, clay. You know, it's not all dirt. Like, it's a lot of clay in there, so it's kind of hard to grow new grass sometimes. So I'm like, mm, you know, whatever. I'll, I'm only grabbing a few bags, so, you know, it's only a couple bucks extra. So I grabbed five bags of that, and I'm like, I don't need... After I had grabbed those, I'm like, I'm not going back there. But I'm like, shit, I don't need topsoil to fill the hole in you know just get regular dirt so i got three bags i was like i think one or two bags because they're like 40 pounds a piece i'm like i think one or two bags will fill that hole and you know so i can kind of walk on it so it gets kind of compacted down and then you know i'll put like one of those bags of topsoil on it and then that should be perfect you know because you don't want to like you don't want to put the seed and topsoil on it and then like mash it down or anything like that you just kind of want to like loose soil um so I put one bag, of, or, or I grabbed three bags of the soil because I'm like, one or two bags of that and then one bag of topsoil. And then I got that almost hole in the backyard where that burn barrel was. I'm like, it's not really deep, but it's pretty big. You know, it's about two foot across or whatever. Sorry, I'm just tilting back here in my chair. Um, so I grabbed um, a bag of dirt and then, you know, one of topsoil for that. And I'm like, that should be plenty, but I'll grab one extra bag of dirt. So I grabbed three bags of dirt and like the way our Lowe's is set up, there's two pallets on the ground. There's like one in front of the other. So, you know, you grab from the first one and the, that's empty and you can either walk around it or, you know, move it or they'll come move it. So the first one was empty or no, I lied. The second one was empty. The first one had like three bags on it, but they were like just ripped to shreds. Like as soon as you pick these things up, the dirt's just going everywhere. So then there's these big, like, you know, industrial shelves, you know, obviously, because it's holding, like, thousands upon thousands of pounds of dirt and soil and all that stuff. So it's, like, probably, you know, with me standing up, it's, like, yay high. And I'm, like, Ugh. and you could tell people had been taking a ton of stuff off it because the pallet was, like, 
right here, but you know, there was at least like two bags worth gone, you know, from that whole top thing or whatever. And I'm like, damn, I'm like, what are they going to do? Get a high low in here? Have all these people move, you know, out of the way. There was like, I mean, Jesus, small towns worth of people in there. I'm like, damn it. So I just grabbed the three bags I could. I'd literally just pulled them from the top, you know, reached as far as I could and grabbed them. And I was like, this should be plenty though. I mean, you know, one or two bags out front, one in the back. And then I got the topsoil because that spot where the water department messed our grass up only needs about that much. You know, it's already pretty tall. It's just, it needs like some soft dirt there for the, the grass seed to go in. So I'm like, I'll just do the topsoil there. Five bags of topsoil in that spot where they messed it up wasn't enough. I need, I would say at least two to three more bags for that. All three bags of dirt went into that hole and it could still use a little bit more. I didn't even put topsoil on it yet. And in the back, obviously I didn't touch that one yet. So I need at least two bags of stuff for that. So I basically need to go make the same trip I just made and come back in the deck. The way that they, like there's like the support, I think they call it the footers or whatever. And you've got like a four by four in the ground here and here. And then you've got like two big pieces of wood like screwed to it or whatever. And then the deck basically just essentially sits on top of it. Um, the way they did ours, it's not straight with the house. Like it, it, it starts here and then, you know, let me do it like this so you can see. It starts here and then like it goes like this, you know, like it's super crooked. It's like six inches different here than it is here which is not really that big of a deal, but those boards are so short that like, I'm gonna have either some overhang or some underhang. Like I, I got the five boards like I thought I needed, but I still have about this much uncovered. So I'm like, and I can't cut that much because the end of the last board is basically like on top of where that beam already is. So I don't know. It's it's kind of confusing to say that you you should be able to see in that clip I got, but I'm just like, God damn it! This like they built it so crooked. Like I'm trying to build the top deck straight with the house, but the bottom like it wants to be on just a slight angle, not a big angle, just a slight angle, and it's really annoying. <sighs> but it's ridic I don't know if you guys can see in the in the clips I got but it's ridiculously windy out there like every time I would dump a bag of soil I'd have to go throw it in the trash can because as soon as you let go it's just whew. um and it got worse and worse as I was standing out there it it was super sunny and stuff when I was at Lowe's when I left as soon as I got home now it's cloudy and gloomy I'm like I just put grass seed down I need the sun to shine but um I'm supposed to have some decent weather coming up so hopefully in the next like two weeks the grass starts growing i mean shouldn't take that long but i'm just our house is very nice you know we need to fix that front deck that front porch thing crumbling but aside from that you know it's a really pleasant looking place you know i keep up on the landscaping and stuff like that you know i keep it clean um you know no junk hanging around but that part of the yard just bothers me so bad because it just looks like crap you know it's, it's weeds and like rocks essentially and i want to get that fixed um i would really 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 love if they extended our layoff like a couple more weeks because i would really look into getting our side driveway here that's gravel i would really look into getting that like ass asphalt ash i always called it when i was young i always said asphalt so when I say it properly now, it throws me off. I'm like, asphalt? Asphalt? So it is like gravel from basically the road all the way to the garage. And I would love to have an asphalt company come in and do asphalt in that area. Just for a million reasons. You know, one, it would look so much better and not have all those weeds. Because there's just, it's so old. There's just weeds growing through it. The grass grows through it. Um, I spray weed color and stuff every year and I spend 20 or 30 bucks just to get that driveway done. And all that does is just make all the green weeds and grass just turn yellow and die, but they're still there. So it looks really, really bad. Um, but if I don't do that, then I literally have to cut it with my lawnmower on a really low setting because they grow that quick and it's ridiculous. So I would love to get that covered in asphalt because it would look amazing. 
Um, it would just be really nice to not have gravel. Like, if wh whichever one of us parks over there, our cars have so much gravel, you know, just from sticking to our shoes, like on the floorboards and stuff. So it'd be really nice to not to have to deal with that anymore. Our cars would stay cleaner longer. Um, obviously, the dust from, you know, the gravel and stuff, it gets your car dirty. So you have cleaner cars and have a driveway up to my garage where I can work on my, like when I want to jack up the car or something, I got to get all kinds of, you know, big, thick, heavy duty wood and put it under the jack stand. And, you know, then I'm crawling around on the rocks and, you know, like I've truthfully never felt safe doing it because it is a gravel driveway. So that jack could just, you know, just decide to sink through at any point in time. Um, and it wouldn't be that expensive because like there's really nothing there for them to tear up um they might have to dig out a couple inches but with the size of that if you just had one like you know bulldozer or whatever that's got the big scoop thing on the front i mean it would take you not even an hour i mean i could do it and i've never even driven one of those things before you know probably an hour or two um and of course you know that would make your resale value go just you know skyrocket um you know because gravel over having something actually paved is night and day price wise so if they extend that off that would be amazing um if not i'm gonna probably go through like a spurt of depression when i gotta go back to work because it's gonna suck so bad um gonna go back to work and we're probably gonna be working like i would believe i would be blown away if we got 30 hours a week you know, so it's like, cool, you know, I'm still home a lot, but, um, yeah, now I got to get back up at four in the morning again. And I go from making like, I, I, my income would be cut into like thirds, you know, it would take me three weeks to make what I'm making a week now, just on the unemployment. So yeah, that's, it is what it is though. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. Um, next vlog you guys see, I will definitely be finishing up the deck. I wanted to today, but from working on it yesterday, like I just putting those screws in, it doesn't sound like much, but I was hunched over doing that for, you know, probably over an hour. So my back is kind of killing me. Um, a little bit sore from, you know, lugging all that stuff around and power washing the house and stuff. So I'm going to take a little break today and, uh, yeah, tomorrow or whatever next day is nice. And, uh, you see this vlog next day or two, you will see the next vlog of the deck pretty much being done. Have a good one guys.